there totally is a better way to manage server overhead so that we can focus on insights. And that better way is to use a serverless data warehouse. BigQuery is Google Cloud's petabyte scale serverless data warehouse. You don't have to manage clusters, just focus on insights. The BigQuery service replaces the typical hardware setup for a traditional data warehouse. That is, it serves as a collective home for all the analytical data in an organization. Data sets are collections of tables that can be divided along business lines or a given analytical domain. And each data set is tied to a GCP project. A data lake might contain files in cloud storage or Google Drive or transactional data uh, in Cloud Big Table or Cloud SQL. BigQuery can define an external schema and issue queries on that external data as a federated data source. Database tables and views function the same way in BigQuery as they do in a traditional data warehouse, allowing BigQuery to support queries written in a standard SQL dialect that is ANSI 2011 compliant. Cloud Identity and Access Management, or Cloud IAM, is used to grant permission to perform specific actions to BigQuery. This replaces the SQL grant and revoke statements that are used to manage access permissions in traditional SQL databases. A key consideration behind agility is being able to do more with less, and it's important to make sure that you're not doing things that don't add value. If you do work that's common across multiple industries, it's probably not something that your business wants to pay for. It's something that you want to buy. The cloud lets you, the data engineer, spend less time managing hardware and more time doing things that are much more customized and specific to your business. You don't have to be concerned about provisioning and reliability and utilization improvements and performance or tuning on the cloud. And because you don't have to be worried about all of those things, you can spend your time thinking about how to get better insights from your data. We said you don't need to provision resources before using BigQuery, unlike many RDBMS systems. How does that work? BigQuery allocates storage and query resources dynamically based on your usage patterns. Storage resources are allocated as you consume them and deallocated as you remove data or you drop tables. Query resources are allocated according to the query type and complexity. Each query uses some number of what are called slots. Slots are units of computation that comprise a certain amount of CPU and RAM. 